Hey guys! Hey. Welcome back to Real Thoughts. Today we are doing a special movie. I think they're all special in their say, own wait, way. Special. Yeah, they're all special in their own way. Go. Oscar nominated American Sniper. Uh, so We're literally coming back from the theater. Mm hmm. So Dave wants to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, American Sniper uh, just released. It's an action uh, bi biography drama, real life, a true story. Um, it's a Navy, Se Navy SEAL sniper. Chris Kyle's pinpoint accuracy saves countless lives on the battlefield and turns him into a legend. Back home to his wife and kids after four tours of duty, however, Chris finds that it, it, it is the war he can't leave behind. So it was rated uh, 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb, and uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing to witness. <laughs> ah, you gave it away! <laughs> I did, I wanted to, anyway, um, so, you go. No, you go. <clears throat> okay, so, American Sniper, as, as we said, the, the synopsis of it, it was, yeah, it's a true story, and uh, they, the kind of, the detail they get into is really, really cool, I thought. Um, basically, they follow this guy around, played by Bradley Cooper. Oh, yeah, I didn't read the stars, but that's okay. Bradley Cooper's in it. Um, and uh, don't worry about I'll it. I'll grab it. Oh, why do you worry? Go on. And uh, But you're not paying attention. I'm paying attention. Go on. <sighs> um, so they follow Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Man. They follow Bradley Cooper and uh, Chris Kyle, as Chris Kyle. And uh, his his the way he lives you know, his life through uh, serving his country. He was, uh, you know, a cowboy that... Uh, kind of didn't know what to do, and and then uh, all of a sudden this opportunity presented itself once you know September 11th happened. It kind of uh, stirred up a lot of emotion, and and you know started this this uh, tour. Um, and so for me it was like it was crazy because they got into a lot of detail. There were a lot of uh, moments in the movie, like it was really um, kind of heart heart racing uh, throughout, but then calming. And then you know heart racing and then calming, and so it was uh, very much an emotional roller coaster. I would say in terms of suspense and action and and kind of I guess concern, um, and uh, yeah, and it was but it was really well put together. There were a lot of there were a few moments. It was rated like 14A, which I think it's interesting because there were a few moments where you're just like, geez, like this should probably be a little bit higher. But yeah. I guess the next jump is 18. Yeah. So it's like, it is a big jump, but there were, there were just a few moments where it was just, geez, like, because, but it was depicted really well. And I think in the setting, it made sense mm -hmm. um, in terms of, you know, things like this could be happening or were happening or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, to take it out of context, it's just like, that's completely just atrocious kind of thing, you know? Um, so, maybe. You go. Um, to add on to what Dave said, um, after watching the movie, I must say I commend all the soldiers out there that go to war, mm -hmm. and I also commend all the civilians out there in war countries that are facing the uncertainty, that are facing the bomb blast and the... Um, jets and stuff flying overhead all the time and just all of that stuff I commend the civilians as well um the movie itself I must say that it was very um it was very interesting to see just a veterans um battle in mm -hmm. a sense mm -hmm. and you hear about it quite often but it's yeah it's interesting to see the veterans battle because those things like it makes sense that they stay with you and yeah how could they not yeah yeah, yeah how could they not um, so, like, honestly, all I can say is, like, commend you. Hats off. You didn't say anything about that? I know, that. uh, good movie, great job, Clint Eastwood. And Sorry, camera card, <laughs> memory card is full. <laughs> um, yeah, as I was saying, I also commend, uh, Bradley Cooper, great job. Great job in your acting. Um, he gained a lot of weight for the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He bulked up. Yeah. Yeah. Um. He really looked like him, too. Yeah. The the in terms of uh, like uh, real life visual visualizations, man, they both the him and the wife both yeah. looked uh, very very Similar, close to yeah. the real life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else I have to say. I see. Um, the one thing that I thought was also interesting is uh, in the movie, um, Bradley Cooper comes back or Chris Kyle comes back uh, from a tour, and he's 
you know, just driving down the highway, they're going to the hospital or something. Um, and uh, but it's a like a casual scenario and uh, nice day kind of thing. And uh, you know, him and his wife get talking, and and he's just not paying attention. And basically, then they kind of have a little bit of argument, and it's like, hey, um, like how can I how can I be calm when there's there's war going on, and, and there's you know nobody's thinking about it here. Like you know, you're, we're going to the mall. We were they were driving to the mall. Yeah. Um, we're driving to the mall, like, it's a sunny day, it's, a, like, it's peaceful here, like, how, how can I not be thinking about the war, why aren't people kind of thinking about it, and, and it's really interesting, and, and, like, I don't know, mind-boggling, because it's, like, yeah, I, you know, the, the war is not on my mind, you know, 24 hour, hours a day, seven days a week, and that's... It's only what, on when it's on TV, right, in a sense. Right, right, yeah. and is that because I'm so lucky that you know, there are people out there serving for my country and on my behalf that I don't have to worry about that. You know, those aren't my worries. And it's like, we are so lucky uh, to have that luxury to not have to think about that. But when you think about the reason that you don't have to think about it, it's, it's, it's crazy because there are people, you know, fighting for our freedom yeah. and every day. And, you know, we can, we can only appreciate, you know, just tip our hats and just thank them and, uh, you know, absolutely, just everything they do, um, yeah, C commit, commend. commend, and I almost said condemn, and I, that was, no. yeah, sorry, commend, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, so, anyway, uh, let's ratings. get right to the ratings, I would give it a 4.5, okay, why, why can't I make the jump? Because if you don't have the heart for it, then you can't see it, okay, that's fair, good yeah. morning, yeah. yeah, you need to have the heart for it. Um, other than that, yeah, it's a great movie, great to see in theaters, um, just to really get the, like, effect, yeah. you know? Yeah, Um, and, yeah, just, I, it's worth seeing. I'd give it a full five, for yeah. sure, yeah. And, you know, it might not be your movie type, might make you a little, you know, yeah. A little kinda, uneasy at times. Uneasy, I yeah. felt uneasy at times. I was just like, I can't, I, yeah. I don't feel right seeing this. Right. Yeah. But it is, it's a remarkable... Remarkable picture and and definitely well worthy of the uh, um, best uh, best uh, pi picture nominee. nomination. Yeah, um, it, it's interesting. Did Bradley Cooper get nominated? Yep. Did he? See, I, I that would, was go ahead. I, I would uh, have uh, dis. We had talked about him. Um, David David Oyelowo not yeah. getting nominated. And and I'm I'm okay with David Oyelowo. Oh, did he get? Yeah. He yeah. didn't, right? No, I don't think he did. I'm okay with him not, but then I don't think Bradley Cooper should have. Mm -hmm. Because I see both their uh, um, portrayals very good. They're, I think they're very, very similar. Yep. In that Bradley Cooper, you know, what he did, like he did... He uh, took on a role and he stuck with it. Exactly. Yeah. But it wasn't It wasn't like a, you know, uh, a demanding theatrically role. Yep. But yeah. When he's just confirming. I'm confirming. I, the, I don't uh, want to put out the, the wrong nominees. information. Yeah, totally. He was yeah, like, no, he wasn't nominated. Who, Bradley Cooper? No, no, no. I'm saying oh. David Ayala wasn't nominated and Bradley Cooper was. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah and so so in that case, yeah, I, I think that is a little snub at, at Dave. Yeah. And Dave's my, you know, he's he, 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 your he's guy, tight. right? Yeah, you guys got it like that. He's Nigerian, he's got your name, you got ties on both ends. Well, I'm not Nigerian. But your wife's Nigerian. Is she? Huh, huh, who would have thought Nigerian? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. Whatever. Yeah. It, you know, I'm not the Oscar committee or whatever. We we're, we're just talk, real we, thoughts. We won't talk about the yeah. Oscars today. Don't yeah. get me started on that. Anyway. anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, American Sniper for you. And uh, if you guys have checked it out, let us know what you think about it. If you have... Um, Yet to do so. Oh, I wasn't going to say that. Oh, yeah, okay, that sorry. too. Um, if you are a veteran or know someone who's a veteran, um, I don't want to say thumbs up, but, like, I commend you. Um... Yeah, thanks for the for your service and all the ci the civilians out there in war. I reiterate reiterate myself, commend you as well. Absolutely. For your your strong heart. I think that's it. Alrighty, all well right. we'll see you guys on the next real thoughts. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by. Bye.